welcome back to my channel. My name is Tia, aka Teacup Simmer, and this is another part of our niche series. And we are back in our Lazuli tribe, where our great Princess Onyx and her, I guess, best friend, like sister, like nest sister, Miyako, are both kind of plotting their like overtake of the entire island because they are growing up. They are super adorable, and currently what we need to do is basically work on expanding the territory we have a lot of things to cover today a lot of things to get done we have a lot of creatures who are waiting to have babies so we have reef who's waiting to have a few babies in her last couple days of life she has two days left so when she needs to pop out at least two more babies for me um so that we can make sure that we get that f gene solidly in the family unfortunately we still only have one creature so if we do only have flounder flounder is going to be the one that's going to move to the next island. Currently we have a lot of creatures that have kind of caught my eye that I think I really want to move forward, that I really want them to be the ones to move to the next island, but we're not completely sure yet so I'm going to kind of move all of the ones that I kind of want to go with us to that island and then we can kind of decide when it gets to that point. But in the meantime, we're kind of finishing an edict from our great conqueror Alexandrite, who is saying that because we are a traveling tribe, despite the cultures that have kind of manifested on each of the different islands, the tribe is itself a the tribe of Lapis Lazuli, so they must explore, they must continue to go forward. So in order to do that, in order, in order for the tribe to continue to move on, they each have to have at least one nicheling explore one of the islands on the archipelago. They don't have to settle the entire one, but they do have to have some form of exploration because it would be against the teachings of what they're saying, of what he's saying is the teachings of their goddess to leave an area unexplored, at least a little bit. So we're going to have some of our nichelings go off and explore these areas. I'm kind of gonna stop breeding and start picking, stop picking up food as much because we're getting down to the wire and the point where we want to kind of pick the creatures that we want to keep and find the creatures that we want who are going to be the ones to kind of finish out the story with us and at least finish out this chapter of our story. I think this is going on for a really long time and I really want to make sure that we at least um, get to like a pretty good closing, not a closing, but I want to kind of move on. So we might end up pulling up the Lasley tribe again. I want to see, and we might like take like maybe like a month hiatus or something along those lines. Not sure yet. You guys let me know what you think, but I love this tribe, but I don't know how much we want to do with them. I know we want to move them to a new island and maybe moving them to a new island will be a start of a new season. I don't know if you guys want a hiatus between seasons because I've been thinking about doing like a warrior catch challenge in niche which would be really fun. I know a lot of people have done them in the past and I kind of have been pinking around and some rules and stuff nothing too elaborate. I know some people have done like some really elaborate rules and some people have done just kind of like oh let's just do whatever and I've done a, a stream on it but we can talk more about that later if you guys like check out the community page on our channel I'll post some questions if you guys have ideas or comments you can definitely post them up there as well but we really want to get down to the nitty-gritty of trying to get the rest of this island explored this island touched on this island touched on and then some of this island explored so lots to do lots to see and let's get started Okay, so what I want to do is get all of our, start moving some of our babies. So I really want Tanzanite and Ruby, these ones that have been kind of like the reincarnation of some of our older red nichelings with those beautiful purple eyes, will be moving over this way so we can get them onto this island so that they can be some of the ones that move forward. Because they're still young, they still have some time so we can kind of shuffle them over this way so they won't um like kind of get too hurt trying to travel and then I want Usama to come that way as well because we want some of our some at least some of our genes to be some of those warrior genes and striker too um let's see I wanted lapis I wanted her to be pregnant with sh shark 
I'm pretty sure, yeah, their, their jeans are okay. Eyes. Yeah, these guys are fine. I think shark, I'm going to add in a claw in there. Did I have claw? Yeah, we have claw. I'm going to add a claw in there. And then he does not have any pattern and neither does she. So that's fine. We don't really want to mess with that. But we want to get her moving. Let's see how it's the quickest way there. Um, we're going to get her moving back this way as well. Agate. Um, I like Agate. I don't know about him. Guppy. She doesn't really have anything special. Lake. Cora. Let's see. Kraken. So like some of these genes, they're all like these, all of these creatures are like related. So they all have similar genes. So we don't want to keep too many of the sim of the same genes around at the same time. So Agate, let's have you and Guppy and Cora and Lake um, start moving this way. And they're going to start going towards that big island over here so they can touch on that so that we can explore it a little bit so that we can get um, kind of take care of Alexandrite's edict because we can't leave until we explore each of the islands. So we're going to have Korra move this way. Lake. Lake is going to stay with Lapis because it's always a good thing to stay in pairs especially since some of them may get be leached so we don't really want anyone be leached. Someone's bleeding. Who's bleeding? Oh, Kimmy. I forgot about Kimmy. Um, Katsu, come help. And then Kimmy is going to come over here. And I think who's around? Iolite, she's going to come help her sister-in-law. Technically, Kimmy it was R Ruby's sister. And they, they've been kind of close since they both kind of stayed in the same place since they were young. Um, let me see. Jade... I like you, but I don't know if we need to keep you. See, this comes down to the wire, you guys, because there's we have to pick which genes need to come with us. Carol doesn't really need she's she's she finally had her baby, so she doesn't really need to be around much longer. Gavon, eh. Kala, no, we're gonna leave these guys here. Bluma, I think. Is also is going to be one of the ones that's going to go. So we're going to send her. Just be also because, like I said, I, it's because I like some of them. So River, mm, she has that water body is solid. Um, Takir has hind legs, swimming tail. Um, I like River though, so I don't know. I don't know about her. Orca, I'm going to send that way as well. Amelia, I'm going to keep over here because Amelia has been here for most of her life, but she, she can't really provide anything. So I'm going to leave her there. Um, we're going to have Tarmo stay on the island. Guppy, go this way. Striker, come this way and maybe B and H. Um, they'd actually be good mates, which would be a really interesting mix. But I don't know if she wants to have an. I don't know if she wants to have another um, mate yet. Barrel has H and D. He is actually almost necessary because he has that H immunity, and we don't have too many babies with H immunity. And then we have Charna, who is old enough to go now. So we're gonna have Charna over here. We're gonna have Barrel come down. Um, let's see, the newest baby is Seer. We still want these guys to have another baby because we need that H immunity. So the only ones that I'm gonna be breeding anymore are the ones that have the H, have the immunities that we need. So if they don't really have any of the immunities, we're not really gonna mess with them. Zeru, I forgot that you had that H immunity. That's a good thing. So we're gonna send Zeru over there as well. So there's a lot of creatures going, but hopefully when we have them all like in front of us, we'll be able to pick and choose and see who gets to go. Koanako. 
is actually really pretty. Um, B and E, I and A. So I like these guys. So they can just have, they can just sit over here and kind of push around this area a bit. Keep exploring, keep picking up that, um, that grass. We actually are going to need a lot more of that nesting material than I thought we would. Um, Alexandrite is going to be over here, illuminating that area. These guys are exploring the main home island. Sugalite is just kind of exploring her domain. I think she's super happy about that. Um, starfish. Let's see. I think she's going to help out. She's old, so I think she would want to be near the ocean in her, her final days. Or be in water at the very least. Um, let's see. These little ladies. Um, Becerra. There we go. And then we're going to have Urchin follow her. So these guys have finally explored far enough. So I and B is Amitola. And how many babies do we have that have I is what we need to figure out. We don't have too many. So we have I and C is Lapis. So we may not have Lapis go with us to the next island, but we may have one of her children go with us to the next island. There's Takir, Amitola. I seem to have a lot of I and B, which is interesting. I and C. So I is something we're definitely going to make sure we keep track of. And then we need to get Amitola over this way. These guys, I don't think we need to have any more babies with them. So let's break this down, move him down here. She's going to knock against that and just kind of explore a tad. Aerosil, he's been on this island his entire life, so I think he'd be fine. River, let's see, Viho, can he have, yeah, he can have a baby with her. So I think these guys, um... We'll just kind of sit here. I think they're they're close to the end of their days anyway. Like he's pretty much done. She is almost done. For some reason, all of the males die so much faster. When I put like pairs together, the males always die first, which is kind of sad if I think about it. If you think about like how unfortunately lots lots of people end up passing away before their family members, so it's just kind of like, well, oh, why? It would be like it's always super tragic. Okay, let's have them work on that. Is there anything she can do? Nope. I'm trying to move, like swing through this super quick, guys. We don't want to like have too many more babies at one time, but we also need to start working on getting all this done. So let's skip the day. Oh, goodness. A lot of people died. Okay. We're still at 72, so that's just a that's a fun little bit. <laughs> so we're still at 72 nichelings, even though three people three three nichelings died. Aname, we're having a lot of girls. We need some more dudes. Um, we need to name these little ones as well. Ra Lossie, see, we're having a lot of babies with purple eyes, which is super interesting. But they don't have like they don't have that same like maybe they're just a little bit more aggressive. Because Sugalite just has like a warrior spirit. So she's just like, rawr. I am woman, hear me roar type thing. But the, her, her babies are more like, oh, well, we just want to make sure that we get everything done. Then we need to get done. We're, they're just aggressive. So they just kind of know what they want. So Onyx is still like, grow, is probably still going to grow up in a culture of like travelers. So they're like, go off and do whatever you want to do. You don't need to stay here. And especially because Sugalite is used to um, basically the babies where she's from usually just get kind of tossed into the grasses and told to defend themselves which is a lot different than what she um than what this tribe does which isn't necessarily that they the babies need to defend themselves just that they have to kind of spread their wings which is slightly different only slightly though um let's have helio can you get back over here yeah okay let's have her try and mate with you there we go. And let's have Sunstone try her hand at trying to get rid of a bunny. Um, and it's just these guys can't stop moving. 
So we're going to get sun. We're probably going to start moving sunstone, kyanite, and, um, ooh, little Rossila over to the other island as well. Unfortunately, there is no easy jump for them. So these guys are probably going to lose a little bit of life as they go, which is depressing, but almost necessary. Um, let's see. Ooh, we need to move. We need to move Isfora. She does not have good swimming, so she can only move one tile. Uh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. There we go. So she can only move one tile, but she's finally here, ushered over by Citrine, who is just casually eating berries, and they're probably going to call Septarian back over so he can have a mate in this for us. So BC, GE is going to be a beautiful, a beautiful union. Okay. So Razor, um, don't really need you. Um, let's see. Move this baby, move this baby. Riyad. Riyad is actually a really great example of of a giver, so I'm not sure if we want to keep her or not. Zircon is also a good example of a giver. Oceana is DNA, and I don't really know. There, I feel like there should be someone for her because she has... She actually has mediocre genes, but not great. So I'm not sure if I want to keep her around for this. Striker. Let's move him here. Charna. They're just going to move across. So we're going to get Beryl to move here. So we don't want him to drown. Rhea. Is gonna stay here and kind of facilitate the move. Let's see, is this little one? This one has H as well. Well done, guys. I appreciate you guys so much. So that little one has H too. So he's B and H. Um, a, D, B, C. Zeru has H and C. So he can come over here and basically hang out with his little brother. So who has H and D? So let me see. Is there anyone else? Guppy, I don't really think we need to keep you. So you can go this way and go to this island. And then Korra can follow her. I don't know if we want them to be the ones that pass on everything. Because I know Agate can probably have a baby with someone. Um... But they're all super closely related, so I don't really know. Like, Lake has C and D. B, D, I, C. I don't really know. Like, I don't know who would make a good... Who would be who would be able, like, well-suited for um, being the one to kind of transfer those genes over. Um, let's get Usama over here. Mm, let's see. Mm, da, 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 da. So there's everybody's moved over here. Everybody's pretty moved over here. These guys. So these little ones need to go over here. Tanzanite will move with his sister. These two are fine. Tarmo is going to be alone. Um, Orca, let's move you this way. And Amelia is sitting around in her little, underneath her tree, just helping out a tad. There we go. So Starfish is going to be over here. Basically, they need to break ground on this island, which is going to be super cute. Do you have it? Yes, we have two babies with the F gene. Yes, and oh my gosh, so happy. Okay, so F and A, F and C. She has purple eyes, black eyes, 
Good genes all around. Well done. Oh, thank God. We're just going to prepare her nest just because we can. Draco, go that way. Let's have Ryuga one more time just for good luck. And then we're going to send your babies off into the abyss. Um, I think what's the best jump for them? No, that's not it. Let's see, they'd have to jump at some point. But I don't know which is the best one. I think this will be the best jump. Because they'll have to jump here, and then jump here, and then jump here. <laughs> so many jumps! Oh, I hope they can get there. These guys are far. We're gonna have to start sending him as soon as he hits, um, as soon as he gets old enough. He will have to, like, jump him and send her as well. Um, we'll have to start naming them again. Oh my gosh. Um, these guys are fine. I have to remember who is being moved to where. How many creatures need to be moved. Too many creatures. Too many creatures. This is why we probably need to start doing cullings at a certain point. Um, and let me know if you guys think we should start doing that. Like having certain creatures just like, nope, we're after 30. We're just gonna stop because it's 72 niche lengths. 72. There's Katsu. He's fine. Um, I'm probably not even gonna move everyone. Bluma. There we go. She's old enough now so she can start traveling. So we're gonna get her to go that way. Shark's gonna help out a tad and illuminate this area. And then Jade. Ooh, let's have Gavon go this way. He's going to sit here and help out. And then Jade is going to show the little one whose mother just passed away. Oh, that's so sad. That how to crack nuts. He's not really going to be that great at it, but she's still going to show him anyway. Iolite passed away too. Oh, this is sad. And so did all, and so did all of um, Korra's mates. So it's just like Korra's on her own with her couple of children. Let's see. <laughs> Sorry, for some reason I have a stuffy nose. Um, let's see. Satoshi. We're just going to pick up all this food while we can. Am Amitola is actually like the epitome of what they wanted. She is gorgeous. I love her. But we don't really need her, which is super fun. Because that's why it's a good thing that we had multiple different little like avenues to get around because or at least to get that those water genes because now we have more than enough creatures that can pass that down um let's see these guys move those guys moved we are working on our final islands oh my gosh so excited and next time we're probably gonna have to come through name all the babies <laughs> rename all of the babies and get those final moves in so we can or at least those finals moves to like this island and then finish breaking ground on this island which i think will be great for them we start moving these babies so they can start this very 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 long track all the way over here oh my gosh and then we're gonna have to start choosing start choosing of the great and powerful the great and powerful travelers all over here who is going to be the ones to come with us? Oh, this is gonna be fun. Okay, so that's A and G. He is C and G. Oh, he's a good one too. She has C and E. We have some G and E. We have some A and D. We have a lot of great mixes of genes, which I'm super happy about. So I'm so excited, you guys. So if you guys enjoying this part, please let me know down in the comments. If you guys are excited about eventually of finally getting off of this archipelago, good because good gosh, this is amazing. We're just, it's just like a sea of horns right here. Just a sea of horns. Like, look at them. All of the horns. All of the horns. Just so many. Way too many. Right? Right? Look at it, Seagullite. You just have way too many babies and, like, nest sisters and nest cousins and nest children. Because look at all of them. <laughs> there's so many. Oh, there's way too many niche links. Okay. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and please subscribe if you really love me. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.